back to Skylar Point TV. Hey there, welcome 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 back to Skylar Point TV. In today's episode, we are going to be covering a product review over an eco friendly product that damn near killed me. Today is a serious episode. We will be reviewing a toothbrush. Why does everything that is eco-friendly so bad? The quality is not there. It's almost as soon as you slap that eco-friendly sticker on there, it turns into a piece of garbage. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love to live in a world where I could eat five or six of those tasty little Tide Pods and still live to tell about it. But I know that's not the world we live in because if Tide Pods were edible, they wouldn't clean shit. Literally, they wouldn't clean the shit out of a dirty pair of underwear. Eco-friendly and chemical-free doesn't clean anything because you need chemicals to get shit clean. That's just how it is. The whole Tide Pod bit is uh, kind of to set the premise for the episode, which is that as soon as that sticker gets slapped on there and it's eco-friendly... It becomes a, you know, a pretty much a dumpster fire. So with all that being said, I just want to say that not all products need to be eco-friendly. And if something's working well, just keep using it. Don't do what I did and try to branch out and almost kill yourself. All right, let's get on with the product review. I'm going to do a little um, comparison review in this. We're going to look at Exhibit A, which is a toothbrush. Nothing crazy here. Regular toothbrush. I put toothpaste on it and it cleans my teeth and that's it. It's perfect. And now let's look at our eco-friendly option. This is a Mabel bamboo toothbrush. It ships in eco-friendly packaging. has a biodegradable bamboo handle which this, har this bamboo was harvested from sustainable bamboo farms. Uh, this has a non-toxic and BPA free bristles which is very good because I, I can't tell you the last time I had BPA on my bristles and liked it. And the icing on the cake here, this is a vegetable based paint on the bottom of this toothbrush. All natural. I know what you're thinking. Well RC, I don't see why you had to do all that to that poor defenseless eco-friendly toothbrush at first I thought the same thing I thought oh wow here's a here's a great uh, sustainably farmed eco-friendly toothbrush that I can use in place of my trusty plastic one that has never tried to kill me before but I shit you not two weeks into brushing my teeth with this bamboo toothbrush all of the bristles fell out in my mouth it seemed like a big thing if you weren't there but I was there and I know it was a big thing. Imagine taking a sleeve of staples and putting them in your mouth. No, not like that. Oh yeah, like that. But you didn't just have these little hard spider legs in your mouth. You also had the foamy toothpaste that you were using. And also, you don't have a toothbrush in your mouth anymore. You essentially have a bamboo stick that's poking and prodding these little spider leg staples around in your mouth. So just imagine with mouthful of toothpaste, spider leg bristles in there, and you're just jamming them around with a, a, a bamboo stick, and you're kind of choking yourself like some sort of cheap hook. All right, let's take a look at their website. Uh, the website looks exactly the way I thought it would look. You know, lots of white. Um, green clean shit I was a little surprised not a lot but I was a little surprised when I clicked shop and it took me to a page that said are you just buying one thing or are you becoming a member or whatever it said and it just reminded me of REI actually actually this is exactly like some REI bullshit that they would sell so now if you're sitting there thinking to yourself well, what is REI, RC? What is that place? Well, it's a pretty great, it's a pretty great uh, outdoors store that really caters for the designer outdoorsy woman. 
I believe. I mean, they tell their customers things like, embrace the outdoors. And they go and build their stores in downtown buildings that look like they could be Duncan's Toy Store off of Home Alone 8 with the Justin Bieber kid. They have huge flat screens everywhere, which I understand the flat screens. You got to show off your product. Uh, I'm not going to really nitpick them on, on that too much. But every one of their stores is designed like a New York City loft. Like nothing says, hey, get away from the city and go see the outdoors. Like, hey, let's make all of our stores look like a New York City loft. So it's city. Look, like, this is a toothbrush review. Uh, but with the toothbrush, I, I knew from the beginning I wasn't going to like this toothbrush. It's as though the designers over at Mabel Toothbrush Factory said, hey, you know, there hasn't been any design change in the toothbrush in about 300 years. Uh, you know, I just had, I have a toddler niece that she has these great ideas for products. I think we should actually give her a, give her a shot. So they give this toddler um, a, a box of Legos and some bamboo skewers and some tape. And, and she comes up with it. She comes up with this new design for the toothbrush. And I said Legos in the example, but it's more like a masonry brick. For the two weeks I was using this toothbrush, it felt like I was bashing my gums and scraping them with a little tiny brick that you would build a schoolhouse out of. But hey, it has the uh, you know vegetable-based non-toxic paint on the bottom, so it's safe. No, not safe for humans, you dumbass. It's safe for the environment. So again, I go back to the photos of the founders. This thing haunts me, but in the end, I know it's probably my fault. Because after all the research I did, again, I looked through their social media sites, I looked through their, their own website. After all the research, I never did find anywhere that described their products as durable. That never happened. They never said that they would last longer than two weeks. Never once did I read that they were reliable. Oh, that's on me, right? And then you did see the word safe quite a bit. But it never did say it was safe for humans to use. So again, uh, I'm sorry, Mabel, for thinking that I could use your toothbrush without hurting myself or almost choking on your little spider leg BPA-free bristles. Uh, I apologize. And in closing, I just want to say that I do like the idea of sustainable products, but until eco-friendly can equate to reliable and durable, and safe for humans, I'm going to be sticking with a plastic toothbrush. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it and you want to have some good luck, go ahead and just hit that little thumbs up button on the video. I uh, will be back next week, I promise, with another video. We're going to talk about how many flushes it takes to uh, sink one of my battle shits here in the apartment. That'll be an interesting one, so make sure you tune in next week. I will catch each and every one of you on the flip side. Be careful out there and see you later.